Mario Kart World discussion is obsessed with the baby blooper. If you look at the stats, you can see why. Blooper has an incredibly high combination of road speed and acceleration. In fact, at 13 total points, it's matched only by the Mock Rocket and Rob Hogg. The first cart to offer 8 points in road speed does so at the cost of 2 points in both acceleration and handling. But the Baby Blooper isn't the end all of carts. If we hop into an online lobby and end up at Moo Moo Meadows, we're suddenly on dirt and the Baby Blooper fails spectacularly. A Bitty Buggy will have a whopping 3 extra points of speed and an extra point of acceleration. To be clear, this is a good thing for the meta. Different tracks cater to different types of carts, whether that's a high speed blitz or a series of sharp turns and tricks rewarding high handling. However, that's not to say all carts are created equal. Few tracks heavily feature water, and those that do often have alternate paths to avoid it. When optimizing a combo for online play, your attention should be turned towards the most relevant stats. Typically, this will be acceleration, which helps you recover from being hit, and your speed on the most common terrain type. From what I've seen, 3 lap races tend to be rode more often than not, while knockout tours have a more even split with dirt. With this in mind, I've constructed a tool to find the optimal cart combo. Let's plug in Wario on the baby blooper, optimize for road speed and acceleration, and see what happens. As expected, it looks like this might be the best combo available. But if we look below, we'll see our combo alongside a longer list of other options. Why is that? Simply put, there are two stats we care about, and that means making a trade-off. If we swapped Wario to the Mock Rocket, we'd be able to gain acceleration at the cost of speed. Or, if we keep the Baby Blooper and switch to Baby Mario, we can swap our speed and acceleration stats entirely. With 50 characters and 40 cards, we have 2,000 potential combinations, and we've narrowed it down to just 19. Plus any duplicates from characters with identical stats. It's also worth noting that this curve is not linear. To go faster than Wario, you're giving up 2 points of acceleration instead of just 1, and to raise your acceleration above 17 requires a steep investment of 3 points in speed. Now, it looks like the tool is working right, but to make sure, let's try changing the stats we care about. Perhaps we're getting ready to time trial a map that's all dirt. We won't need acceleration in solo mode, so let's focus on terrain speed and handling. Uh oh, the warrior blooper combo isn't looking too hot. Several cart combinations have higher speed and handling. But oh, hey, what's that down at the edge of the Perito Frontier? Cow in the Bowser Bruiser. If we look at the time trial world records for Moo Moo Meadow, the top scores are dominated by identical combinations. As a final note, cart combination isn't everything. I fought Cheap Cheap in the Funky Dory to online races and been fine despite the huge difference in optimization. The best way to improve is to learn the maps, and good players are going to generally win regardless of what combo they are using. If playing a specific combo is the most fun for you, go for it. But if you are trying to improve in the game regardless of your combination, I'm hoping to make a guide for each knockout tour in the near future, so consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing it. Still, in a competitive setting, every edge can count, so try seeing how your favorite combo holds up by using the tool on my website in the description. Thank you for watching, and please leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions.